I think everybody's all jealous and Cause I'm like the lead singer of the band, dude. And I think everybody's got a freaking problem with me, dude. And they need to take it up with me after the show. Because. What's up? This is Dr. Dre right here on Death Sight TV. Swifty McVeigh. It's me. That D12 representer representing the D313. Hey, yo, this is Mr. Porter. Con artist. Denial Porter. Your father. Yo, what the f is up? My name is Kaniva from D12. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, this is Bizarre from D12. I know we've been gone for a long time, man, but we're back. We're ready. We're in the studio. We're vibing with Dr. Dre. We're finishing it up. We're in Los Angeles, California. Con artists is in the back singing. We're doing our thing. You know, we up here finishing the song that we're doing with the doc. You know what I'm saying? Dr. Dre, that he is. We're putting it together. We're bringing the song, bringing the Detroit out of us. Working with a group with six members is a, is a little difficult. Sometimes the songs get a little longer than I would like, but, um... Everybody's got to get their shot on the record. I love working with these guys. Everybody come in, be straight professional, and it's like get here and have fun. To tell you, we working on with Dre does not have a name yet because we just getting warmed up. Sometimes it take uh, three or four tries to get something. So, you know what I mean? It's, it's not necessarily a, a, you come in and you got a Dr. Dre track and shit. You got to give them time to warm up. We got to warm up. Man, it'll take a minute. Day was like an inter introductory day. You know, we ain't seen each other in like a couple years. So we just kick in and vibe in and he listen to the album. Dre checks the album out and uh, he uh, listens to see what we don't have, you know what I'm saying, and we go from there. And we start listening to a gang of beats. I'm talking about, man, it's just, it was so many dope beats going through our ear, it was just hard to pick. It's a, a difficult process because there's so many different opinions. There's six people in the group, so one person might like one track, another person like this one, so we just end up going to the back and fighting about it. It's kind of difficult when you come in and you got to go for something specific opposed to just coming in and just going. So, we we'll put our heads together and see what happens. Dre. You know what I'm saying? He put the spirit of perfectionism in me to the ninth power. It's like laid back, calm. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to rush. Take your time. And let's get it done. Dre just bring the best out of people. That's his job. He's a producer. You know what I'm saying? He, he's a, he, he makes a product of an environment grow. You've been a big influence on, on me as an artist, personally, him and N.W.A. So, you know, you, you kind of starstruck for a minute because you're like, man. I'm here with Dr. Dre, man. I gotta make sure my shit is tight. But it's it's beautiful, man, because he he has so many ideas. I mean, he doesn't just make a beat. He like orchestrates his shit. You know, he he knows what he want wants the beat to sound like. He knows what what's missing and what needs to be taken out. He's a perfectionist, just like Eminem. And I think that's where Eminem get his his sense of producing from. And as far as just being an artist, he's when Eminem first started, it was you know he just rapping, you know, but I think Dre molded him into be a, a more of a, a rapping machine. Him and M, they help you uh, with concepts, they help you in the booth. I mean, you know, overall, they, you know what I'm saying, Dre's just a hell of a producer, and I'm just, you know, glad I had an opportunity to be here and work with him. Gonna let Dr. Dre be Dr. Dre. 